Welcome. In this video, we will be talking about Example 1 and Example 2 for Grade 6, Module 3, Lesson 8, Ordering Integers and Other Rational Numbers. Ordering ration, rational numbers is just like ordering integers. You can put them on a number line, and the numbers are in order from least to greatest if you look from left to right, or from greatest to least if you look from right to left. In this example, we have three numbers. Um, Sam has $10 in the bank. He owes his friend Hank $2.25. He owes his sister $1.75. We want to turn these three statements into a rational number. That's where it says consider the three rational numbers related to the story of Sam's money. And then we want to write and order them from least to greatest. So the first number we deal with is Sam has $10 in his bank. That means that it's a positive 10. If he has $10 in the bank, then it's a positive 10. If he owes his friend Hank $2.25, that's a negative $2.25, 2.25, or 2 and 25 hundredths, negative. If he owes his sister $1.75, that gives us a negative 1.75 hundredths, or one, negative 1.75. Anytime you have money, it's positive. Anytime you owe money, it's negative. So we've got our three rational numbers. If we stick them on a number line here, $10 is over here to the right. Negative 2 and 25 hundredths. Here's our negative 2. Now, on the left side of negative 2 is where we put more negatives. So negative 2 and 25 hundredths is right about there, a quarter of the way between negative 2 and negative 3. A negative 1 and 75 hundredths, here's negative 1, and a negative 75 hundredths puts it about a quarter of the way to the right of negative 2, or three quarters of the way to the left of negative 1. That's the tricky part about these, is figuring out where the decimal portions go. Remember, if you've got more than the negative number, then it's going to go to the left. The left is always more negative. Well now, in order to write these from least to greatest, we're going to go from left to right. So we're going to just pick them up left to right. The first number, negative 2 and 25 hundredths, then negative 1 and 75 hundredths, and then positive 10. Now let's do it with some slightly larger numbers. In example 2, Jason is entering college and has opened a checking account, in which he'll use for college expenses. Now in this problem, we're going to write numbers related to the balance in Jason's checking account. So that's how much money he has in his checking account. At the be beginning, his parents give him $200 to deposit into the account. If we're going to deposit money into a checking account, that's going to be positive. Then Jason wrote two different checks. He wrote a check for $85 to pay for his calculus book, and a check for $25.34 to pay for miscellaneous school supplies, like pencils and paper and notebooks and things like that. Any time you write a check, that's going to be a negative. So we're going to write the three rational numbers and then put them from greatest to least. So $200 deposit, that's going to be a positive $200. And then he's going to write a check for $85, so that's a negative $85. And the last, he writes a check for $25.34, that's going to be negative 25 and 34 hundredths. On the number line, I'm going to put these on, and you don't have to put them on a number line, that just makes it easiest to see. This number line, each tick mark is counting by 25, so I have 0 in the middle, and then 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, and the same going in the negative direction. If I put each of these three numbers on the number line, positive 200 is over here, negative $85 is over here. It's more negative than negative 75, but not all the way to negative 100. And then a check for $25.34, negative 25 and 34 hundredths. Here's negative 25, so negative 25 and 34 hundredths is really close to it right there. So here are my three numbers on a number line, and I want to go from greatest to least. So that means I'm going to go from right to left. Starting on the right, positive 200 is my largest number, then negative 25 and 34 hundredths, and then negative 85. All right. Hope this helps. We're going to be working on the exercises in class.